Hey y'all, Guitar Town Guns here. The other day after work, I went to the Academy of Self-Protection in Jolton, Tennessee. It's one of my favorite gun stores here in the area. And they had some 22 LR on the shelf, and I picked up four boxes. So that was very cool. Um, now I know you only see one box here. That's because I shot the other three with this. Ruger 1022 Cardi. Oh yeah, you know, sitting there on the wall, just begging for me to take it home. It's like, Mitch, please take me home. You know you want me. Oh, and of course I did. Um, 249 bucks. Uh, this is what they were before they started throwing out all this kind of little bullshit. Uh, I saw the same rifle at a gun show three or four months ago, and they were asking 369 dollars for it. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Everybody wants a 1022. Um, they want them all black with lots of gizmos and mojo switches, and tactical, schmatical, whatever. Uh, I'm kind of digging the old school wood stuff. Um, I just think it's awesome. Um, it's just, you know, very classic, and you know, I'm digging it. Um, 22 caliber AR-15s. Uh, I don't really like those too much. Uh, I really think they're a waste of time. Um, you know, we used to have these 22 conversion kits for our M16s when I was in the Air Force, and all they ever did was jam. Um, so, I don't know, why do you need that? I don't know. Um, if I need a tactical rifle, well, you know, that's why I have this. That's another story. Uh, now I'm just kind of looking for a good plinker, and there's a reason why the Ruger 1022 is the most popular selling 22 caliber semi-automatic gun since 1964, um, which is basically the year of my birth, I might add. Um, so I was feeling a little bit nostalgic. I was like, wow, this gun's been around as long as I have. Um, so that was cool. And so I bought it. Yeah, that's great. And it came with uh, you know, a bunch of paperwork that I'll never read, uh, some sort of chamber safety thingy, uh, a really cool lock that I'll never use, uh, and a little scope on it. Uh, I haven't quite figured out whether I'm going to put a scope on it or not. Uh, I don't know. You know. I'd like to have a scope, uh, but I kind of want to get used to shooting through the iron sights first, um, get back to the basic fundamentals of shooting before I start relying on optics and things of that nature. Um, so that's cool. And it also came with this. I don't even know what this is. So, you know, if you know what this is and you have a 1022 or you bought one recently, you tell me what this is because I have no idea what it is. So I guess I probably ought not to throw it away. And uh, it came with one magazine, this little pen rounder. I'm like, yeah, that's not um, so how about one of these, Ruger BX-25, 25 rod magazine. There you go, that's more like it. I like the way it looks in the banana clip design. It kind of makes it look like a, uh, like an AK-47 Junior for a comic case. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Um, plus you can shoot half a box of ammo. So I'm kind of digging it. Um, you know, I can kill a lot of fascist squirrels with this. I sure as hell ain't any. You know, I took it to the range, um, put about 200 rounds through it, and um, she's a real sweet shooter. So I'm very happy with my purchase. So now I actually have 22 ammo and a 22 to shoot it with. Can you dig it? I bet you could. Stay tuned.